how do you get rid of those small black flies emerging from the plants or slash soil? Are they harmful? Uh, I would assume you're talking about fungus gnats. And fungus gnats are like very tiny little black flies and they fly very erratically. Um, and sometimes at night, if, you're, if you have your phone screen on, they'll go towards that and then, you know, cause extra annoyance. Um, so those are the adult fungus gnats. Now, killing those guys is usually done by having what's called yellow sticky traps, um, which are, yeah, I mean, they're, they're meant, they're like, they're, they're sold in, in stores and stuff for, uh, for trapping the adults. Um, you can also just put a dish of water with like some soap in it and then, you know, these flies are kind of, kind of dumb and they'll just fly right in there and then drown themselves and die. Uh, the real critical thing is to make sure you find which plant is the, is the plant that is kind of like spawning them. So the larvae of fungus gnats are very tiny silvery insects that when you disturb the soil or when you water the plant, they, they crawl around and you'll see these tiny little silver things, it's kind of gross, um, crawling around the soil. So what you need to do is identify which plants have them and then you should repot the plant. Uh, and when I say repot, I mean take the plant out, remove as much of the old soil as possible, and then put it into a new pot, put it new soil in there. And that will hopefully get rid of uh, the larvae. The third part is also trying not to use a soil mixture that contains what's called uh, compost or like decaying organic matter. Sometimes, especially for outdoor plants, or out, sorry, outdoor soil, um, they have a lot of compost in it. And that's fine for outdoors because, you know, the whole uh, ecosystem outdoors is, is really quite, quite different from indoors. But when you use outdoor soil or when you use a soil that contains that decaying organic matter, that is the thing that fungus gnats like. They need that stuff to grow. So if you're inside using a soilless mix, most indoor plant soils, are made of just peat moss and perlite. And then you have to amend the soil with synthetic fertilizer, or, I mean, if you're gonna go with this, the organic stuff, then you have to recognize that you might make the conditions favorable again for new fungus gnats to go into the soil. But generally, when you replace all the soil from the offending plant, uh, you've generally cut out the whole life cycle of the fungus gnat. Um, but the bigger picture too is that fungus gnats don't really injure plants to the degree that, let's say, spider mites or thrips or scale uh, or aphids do, right? Um, those other pests are, are real damaging pests. But fungus gnats, I mean, unless you have like thousands, I don't think that would have any real deleterious effect on, uh, on a plant. So, I mean, I haven't seen any fungus gnats on live plants recently, but sometimes when I see one or two, like I actually don't even do anything about it because it's not that damaging. 